Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I have a brand new product to share and unbox with you and I'm super excited. It is a label printer from the company Make ID, and this is the Q1 HD printer and um, if you can tell by the, the gold outline here it does have a vintage typewriter um, body style and I'm super excited. You guys know if you are new here or if you are not, I love typewriters. I have um, a lot in my personal collection. Um, whether they work or don't, um, I'm not picky about. I've got several that work and several that don't. Um, but I love typewriters and I love seeing them come into normal everyday use um, in the modern world. So um, I also do have this um, D-Boom D2 and it is a Bluetooth speaker and um, I've done an unboxing on it. It's a staple in my office now. I absolutely love it, but it has like an old 80s computer vibe and I absolutely love it. My kids love playing with it and um, yeah, love it. So I want to sort of share with you how to use this beauty. Um, I did opt to get the green version. They have a cream one as well. It is charged with a USB-C charger um, or a mini USB. And I super, super love it. I think it's really adorable. It's really easy to maneuver. I've watched very few videos, I think two or three, um, on basically what it's all about. And I feel like it's very easy to use. And I'm very excited to start creating labels in an easy, quick way. I do have the Faux Memo printer from several years back and um, it could do a lot as well. I just, I didn't connect with it right away. Um, but I do have this one and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got it powered up and ready to go. You can see that the green light has come on and that just came on while I was peeling off of the stickers. Um, but this is a Bluetooth printer, so you definitely do need to have um, your iPhone or whatever smartphone or smart device that you have that can link up with this um, to use the Bluetooth program. All right, so I'm going to connect it, but first I need to power it on and I'm just gonna hold down the power button until the light comes on. And rather than go through the Bluetooth um, app on my phone to connect with it this way, here it is right here, I'm not gonna do that. It never works. I don't know why, but I'm gonna go in through here and I'm gonna tap it up here and it just automatically did it. I didn't have to work for it and if I go into my Bluetooth, it will show that it's already connected. If I try to do it this way, it never works. It will always say it's not supported. I don't know why, um, but if I do it through the app to make the connection, it just does it automatically. So I have already done this and I did already choose um, how I wanted my date sort of to be um, because there's a date button down here, but I'm just gonna reselect it. I cleared everything out so that I could do this for the video. And I like this, this is the American layout, month, day, year. So I'm going to um, have that automatically be how the date is printed. Okay, so now that I have got it connected, I have chosen the way I want my date to print. I need to make the um, paper ready for print. So um, basically you just pull it out, pull it past a certain point, I do believe. Um, and then you definitely want to make sure that you have it facing out so that the roll looks like this. You want the clear shiny side facing out. Sorry, I'm not getting a glare because the sun is just like perfectly gone. But um, you want the doll split tape part on the back side. I'm just going to pull it through so that there is some paper hanging out. Close it and then I'm going to use the lever here to cut it. There we go. And then I'm going to just 
hit the date button again. Let me refocus it. Again, I have chosen my date setting and I'm gonna hit print. I'm going to cut it and there we have it. How cool is that? I love it. Um, there are a bunch of different ways that you can play with this. Um, I can choose my custom button to say whatever I want it to, which is this button. Whatever you have as your custom button setting, every single time you push this, um, it will just print it automatically. I don't have anything set up for it yet, so let's go ahead and play with the app and see if we can't figure it out. I want to choose a frame, so we'll go with this one. It looks like a piece of ripped tape. I'm going to make it longer and then I am going to go in and see if I can't find a an appropriate sticker. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look, and they have so many different cute options. Some of the other pictures or videos that I was watching um, showed something a little bit different. Oh, this one looks like a ticket. I love this one. Can you update it? No, I don't think you can. Okay, so that's okay. Let's add a font. You know what? Let's do... Is there a typewriter kind of font? Oh, this one's good. Yes. And then keyboard, Skylar, and studio. Helps if I spell my name right, doesn't it? All right. Nope, I don't want it to do that. No. All right. And gonna save it because maybe I use this to seal envelopes from um, orders or for Patreon from Etsy or uh, orders from Etsy or um, kits for Patreon. Um, it is saving my custom design. Gonna just tap that button once and then I'm going to push my lever and there we go, Skylar Hand Studio. How cute is that? Um, okay, so I did get sent two different color tapes. I have a green and a pink, which I thought was very appropriate since they are my um, brand colors. So let's just go ahead and add a new tape in. You just pull it out. Um, you have to pull this until the clear is totally gone and then you can just set it in there. You don't have to worry about cutting it because you already have a cutter built in. So I'm just going to have it so the paper stops right past where that plastic is. I'm going to close it. Oh gosh, a little aggressive, sorry. Um, I'm going to cut it so that all that clear is gone and then let's do another custom print cut it oh I love that okay so let's add the pink in because I did get pink scent as well sorry if you can hear the helicopter flying over so again I'm just going to pull this until I get to the end, again, making sure that the paper is facing the right direction. Close it, cut it, and print. I'm gonna have it print the date as well, and then I'll cut it. Oh, I love those colors. Look how good those look together. Oh, I love it, and I'm gonna actually even use this in my journal for today. Um, and then I'm going to put these two on the journals that I have already. Let's see. So I have clear green or pink. I think the pink stands off of the page really good. Like 
so there we go look how good it looks I think that's so cute and then I can save this for my journal for later um, another fun aspect to this I wonder if that fits there almost you can also do the continuous label or so there's two different kinds of label tape you can do the gap label which is a label up to a certain point like it's a certain size but I have just continuous label paper so um, I don't have to worry about that uh, but I definitely want to play with the app a little bit more to see about like what all it can do so it's got a bunch of like pre-done labels. I think that's so cool. I think this is really, really gonna make things easier. I like the compactness of it. And I wish I could explain why I didn't connect with my foam memo printer in the same way, but I didn't. I, I don't know if it's aesthetic or the ease of use or what, but the box does come with some pretty um, at a glance, easy to understand instructions. It also comes with your charging cord. And again, I said it's a USB-C, so it's a mini USB and a regular USB at the other side to charge, which is nice. And then it does come with the entire user manual in several languages so that you can figure out how to use your device as easily as possible. The entire box is filled with this very thick foam to ensure safety for the device during shipment, which I have to say I was pretty impressed by. Even the top right here has a thick coat or layer um, foam on the roof or ceiling top of the box. <laughs> and then again, thick cardboard around the edge to keep it stable and supported. Um, so I definitely appreciate that side of things, that they thought about how to make um, the product as safe as possible during shipment. And all in all, I feel like the box itself is like very high quality. They definitely care about packaging. Um, I did charge this when I very, very first got it, before I played with it, before I did anything, I charged it just to make sure that I would be able to use it on camera. Um, I think it probably already was charged because um, it had already powered right up as soon as I pulled it out of the box. So um, yeah, very quick at a glance, sort of very um, easy to use sort of system. It can be as easy or um, complicated or whatever you want it to be. You sort of have freedom of use with this. And I don't know, I just think it's really awesome. It's This is just such a great way, you know, you could label lots of different things with a variety of different kinds of papers to use. There's plenty of little clip arts. You could do return address labels on this. I just think that's really cute. Let me see if I can quickly do that. So let's get a frame. I want a very basic and clean frame. I'm going to add my text. And we'll center it. And let's see. I don't even know if this is going to work, but we can see, right? I don't really think it's going to. Oh, wait, what if I do this? And that's a tilt. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let's print it. Let's just do one copy and just see how it looks.
Oh my gosh, look how teeny. Oh, it's so cute. It's totally doable. I love that. It's definitely not perfect, but I don't seek perfection. So love this. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna save it. I think this is great. Um, the only issue, oh, you know what? I'm gonna save that. Um, the only issue that I have with thermal printers, and I don't really think it's even a major issue. Um, it's not like a make or break for me, um, like it used to be anyway. I definitely struggled with the fact that thermal printers do not have a life expectancy past like five years. Um, some thermal printer paper advertises that it can last up to 20 years but a lot of the work I do is for archive purposes um, and I just want to make sure that the things that I'm printing and using this on that it's gonna last for as long as the recipient or I need to use it for now I know it's easy if I'm just doing it for myself I could just reprint something um, but if I'm using it for decorative purposes like in my journal um, or um, on a letter or an envelope if it gets too hot in transit it could make all of that text disappear um, we don't know the kind of standards that our mail um, is being put through as far as being put on planes or ships or trains or whatever else and whatever kind of conditions that they are going to endure during their travels and I definitely worry about that for sure um, so I think that's my only issue with thermal printers, but I haven't thrown it through the ringer. I haven't like super tested it out. So I don't really know really what its capabilities are in today's world, but it's a real thing. Um, it's a problem. If you've ever left your receipt in your purse for too long and you left your purse in the car or you left a receipt in your car and you go to check on it, it's just white paper. Um, and that's definitely what can happen with this as well. Okay, see, you can, you can see I mean, this is a torch, granted, so I'm putting it through extreme um, testing here, but you can see that the image did go away. I wish I had my heat gun, my heat tool. I could really test it. Let's pause there and see if I can go get that. All right, I've got my heat gun. You can see I definitely use this thing like crazy. It um, got off kilter um, like this, and I didn't realize, and I burnt it. But for the sake of the video, I have a heat gun. Let's test it. As you can see very clearly melted away um, the tape is pretty much ruined at this point I'm certain that the conditions <laughs> on ships or planes or mailing trucks whatever don't get as extreme as a heat gun or a blaster flamer thing over there but this is how it works <laughs> so um, all that being said, that does not deter me from using this device. Um, I can see myself using this in my journal and my journals should have a stable shelf life. They shouldn't be thrown into storage where I have to worry about um, heat issues. Um, but for labeling my boxes or storage around the house or anything like that, this is absolutely perfect. And it looks absolutely adorable with my other typewriter friend. And I think they kind of sound similar. Let's let's test it. Oh, so satisfying, right? Um, okay, so that is it for me today. I um, super appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope that it was mostly informative and that you guys have gotten an idea for another thermal printer out there if you're looking for something small and compact. I haven't noticed any real issues that make me concerned about the product in any way. Um, and I'm super excited to have it. Thank you so much to Make ID for reaching out to me and asking if I wanted to test this product. They did reach out to me um, to see if I wanted to test it. I agreed. I'm very happy that I did because I think this thing is just totally adorable and perfect. So I will leave everything you need to find 
um, this company down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're curious about something and I didn't explain it well enough or didn't show it at all, let me know and I can definitely do a follow-up after I play with it a little bit more, but expect to see this in future content um, in the future. So that's it for me. Thank you so much and I will see you later. Bye!